Modern Dads, This Dance of Life, was started by Isadora Duncan, a woman of strong will, vision, and a belief that dance should be a free and natural expression of self. She spawned generations of free-thinking choreographers who search for the dance of their time and place. To feel the earth and touch the sky features a few of these dancer choreographers and leaves out many. All the choreographers in this film have worked long and hard for artistic freedom. Their dances have evolved from studies to complex evening length works. They've all broken from their past to find movement that relates to their contemporary time. And finally, all of them have envisioned and built a future for the next generation of students. Living the legacy of American modern dance is a story of continuity, chaos, and convergence. Just as we move through different landscapes, country, freeway, city, and back again, a dancer traverses a wide range of feeling and makes sense of it in a physical way. My name is Leanne Lim, and I am a dancer in the Boston area. I've performed with companies like North Atlantic Ballet, Ballet Rocks, Dance Currents, and a few others as well. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of modern and a little bit of ballet. So I feel like for a dancer, your preparation is right from, it's from the beginning, trying to find what is the aesthetic and how do I create that in my own body so that by the time I get to the performance, I know how to access that and I know how to align bones and muscles and your heart and your breath and your intellect into a shape where I don't have to think anymore. And I think to me that's the best performance, the one where I've done all the prep work and I can really purely execute in a way that, that is transformative. Isadora Duncan, the mother of modern dance, lived at a time when dance in the United States was more burlesque than ballet. Both Isadora Duncan and Ruth St. Dennis's mothers espoused dress reform, aesthetic exercise, open air, and art. They had their daughters take lessons in Dell's art exercises, basic principles of expression in movement. Genevieve Stebbins, a popular teacher of Dell's art's work, had clear manuals to follow, and this fit into the new idea of physical culture for women. Ruth St. Dennis considered herself and Isadora as the first modern dancers. Duncan is relaying the story of a Greek god discovering his reflection in the water. After Isadora Duncan, dancing was no longer a series of steps, but an art, and the natural movements we do every day became the vocabulary of a new dance language. This language was called modern dance, and many dance makers followed Isadora's example by using and developing natural movement. <laughs> 